So this is part two on the series about word problems with percentages. This is in collaboration with Mad Skills, which provides training for the certified welding inspector exam. And if you're looking for more information on that, you can look in the description of the video. There's also free practice problems at my website. So you're probably going to have to practice this a lot more. And I'd highly recommend that you download those. They're totally free. Again, check the description. Now, before we get into this video, you should be comfortable with circumference calculations and then percentage word problems, part one of this. If you have no idea what I'm talking about with this, I would highly recommend checking out some of my other videos where I build all of this up. I am assuming you've kind of mastered or at least feel pretty okay with the stuff that we talked about in the first video. So check out my entire library if you, if you need help. Okay, so let's talk about the new percentage situation. Okay, so here's, here's an example. Lack of fusion shall not exceed 10% of the weld length, and the pipe is 12 inches in diameter. So what is the maximum allowable length of lack of fusion? Okay, so I want to just point out a few things. We've got 10% of the weld length. So if you watched my first video, we, we talked about like that math language and how this kind of lines up nicely. And we also talked about how the English language can be a little wordy. This is really spelling out the calculation that we need to do. We need to figure out 10% of the weld length. And we've talked about how this translates directly to that, that calculation. But the issue is we don't know the weld length. So if I read the next sentence, it tells me about that weld length. The pipe is 12 inches in diameter. Okay, so I bring that into the situation. And so in the last video, the weld length was pretty straightforward. This is tricky because it's talking about a diameter. And so that means that we need to know the circumference, okay? So that's why you need to have kind of mastered some of these things. So what this means is, is this problem has multiple parts. It's not as simple as the last set of problems we were looking at. So the first problem is to figure out the circumference. And then the second problem is to figure out the, like the whole point of this problem was this 10% of the weld length. So let's start by figuring out the, the circumference. So we're going to use that equation pi d. So 3.14 times 12. Since I know the diameter, I can just calculate this. So I get 37.68 uh, inches. OK. That was part one. Remember, we need to have the whole thing. Like the whole thing that we were trying to solve was this 10% of the weld length. I think it's very easy to calculate something like this and then go, oh, OK, I'm done. Going to go home for the day. Nope, nope, nope like reread the problem and make sure you answered everything. So we're going to now do this 10% of the weld length. So what is that weld length? This is the weld length. So really what I'm trying to solve now is 10% of that number that we just found. And we talked about, you know, so 10% that's going to translate to that, that decimal of means multiply. And then, you know, we've got the, the weld length. So this is the calculation that I need to do which comes out to 3.768 of an inch. So the answer is lack of fusion shall not exceed 3.768 inches in length. OK, so there is a little bit of a twist with these types of problems, right? There's like a little bit more work that you need to do. So let's just talk about another situation. And I want you to try this one, but I'm going to walk you through it, OK? So a cracked weld may be repaired provided the length of the crack is less than 8% of the weld length. How long can a crack be, um, or how long can a crack be in order to repair a 24-inch pipe? Okay, so as I look through this, so first, like, what is it that we are trying to find here? What is the point of this? The point of this is this 8% of the weld length. So, you know, I like making plans, so I like to kind of have some notes. And you don't have to do these after you've done this for long enough, but like as you're getting used to this, like actually take the time and the space to write this stuff out. Okay, so I need to know 8% of the weld length, and of course now it's what is the weld length. So I go back to the problem and I reread it and I say, okay, so it's a 24 inch pipe. That doesn't tell me the weld length, right? So we have a 24 inch pipe and now we need to know the circumference. So we have to find the weld length. So once again, there are two parts to this problem. So can you identify what the two parts are? You can pause the video if you want to think about it. Okay, so the first part is to figure out this circumference, and then the second part would be to figure out this 8% of the weld length. It's important to have this structure in mind so you have this plan um, so that, you know, it 
like if you take that moment to recognize that, you're less likely to accidentally move on. <laughs> um, okay, so circumference, pi d, so I'm gonna take 3.14 times 24, and in this case I get 75.36 inches. Okay, so this solves part one, and so now we have to solve the second part. And so I need to know now what is 8% of the weld length, which I just found. So what is 8% of 75.36 inches? Okay, so that calculation then we know will translate to just 0 0.08 times 75.36. So if I calculate that out, I get 6.0288 inches. And so there is my answer. And so then the way I interpret this is the crack cannot be prepared if it is longer than 6.0288 inches. Okay, so you try this one. Um, I, I, I made this up, so I, I hope this doesn't sound like ridiculous for a welding example, but I, I was just trying to come up with something. Um, usually uh, I have a bank of ones, but I, I just kind of made this up, so hopefully it's, it works. Um, anyways, so undercut shall not exceed 20% of the weld length. The pipe is 24 inches. What is the maximum allowable undercut? I want you to make a plan, and I want you to execute this one, and when you are ready to see the solution, hit play. Okay. So we need to find 20% of the weld length. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my little plan for this. And I need to figure out what is that weld length. So the weld length comes from this pipe that is 24 inches. So I'm gonna note here the pipe is 24 inches. And so once again, I need to know the circumference. And so I know before I get started that there are two parts to this. First, I need to find the circumference. And second, then I need to find that 20%. Okay, so I'm gonna use my circumference is pi times d. So that's gonna be 3.14 times 24. So this is very similar to the last problem. So I want to use similar numbers, but just let you kind of work through the process. So that's part one. And so then we go to move, we move on to part two. So 20% of 75.36. And so that will be 0 0.20 times 75.36. So this would be 15.072. And then just make sure you always answer. So undercut shall not exceed 15.072 inches. I, I don't know if that's ridiculous. Maybe you're laughing at me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a welder. <laughs> um, okay, so sometimes you will have to compare. So similar to what we discussed in part one, you wanna stay organized. Um, so we're gonna move into some comparison problems. So the first one I'm gonna do with you. Inadequate pre uh, pre penetration IP shall not exceed two inches or 6% of the weld length, whichever is less. The pipe is four inches in diameter. What is the maximum allowable length of IP? Okay, so we want to appreciate this problem. So first of all, how do you know that you need to compare? Read it over. If you want to pause, go for it. So notice the phrase, whichever is less. I feel that comparison right when I see that phrase. And then I think, what do you need to compare? And so this is going to make a plan for us. So as you read this over, so again, maybe you want to pause just to figure out what are those things. For me, I look for that or, and that's really dividing up the two things I've got to compare. So I'm gonna have two inches versus 6% of the weld length. And so now we have kind of this plan, similar to what we were doing in the other video. Okay, now the only thing with this is that the, the weld length, this is gonna be tricky. So in the last video, this was a little bit more straightforward. Now this is gonna take more work. So when I come back to this problem, and I reread this, I find that the pipe is four inches in diameter. So I'm gonna bring that into my plan. So four inches in diameter, this now tells me that we've got that, that kind of same problem as before. Um, I need to know the circumference. So this now is, is gonna take a little bit of work before I can even get to the comparison part. So this has several parts to it. This is why I want you to write down all this detail and actually work this out. You do get to a point where you've done this enough where you know this, this starts to kind of click. But if you are kind of struggling with this, you want to really be detailed so that your brain can kind of process all these details. Okay, so let's let's find that circumference. So pi d, 3.14 times 4. That's going to be 12.56 inches. Okay, we're not done. We need 6% of the weld length. We just found the weld length, right? So 6% of 12.56, that's going to be 0 0.06 times 12.56. And so that's 0.7536. Okay, so this is where I take a moment to say, we are not done. <laughs> I know it feels like we've done a lot of work, but you gotta reread the problem at this point. Um, with problems like this, especially if you start to find you are prone to forgetting steps, then you need to tell yourself to reread the problem and if you've actually answered everything. So the, the thing about this problem, as I go back to it, and, and you can pause if you wanna reread it, remember, 
we were talking about whichever is less. So now what we need to do is we need to compare these two things for whichever is less, right? That was actually the whole point of this problem. So now I have this comparison that I'm gonna draw, two inches versus 0.7536 inches. So clearly in this case, this side is lesser. If I wanted to toss an inequality sign up here, it would look like this. And okay, so now I choose the lesser and that's gonna make my answer. So IP cannot exceed 0.7536 inches. Okay, cool, cool. You try. <laughs> so um, I want you to take your time stay organized, and then when you think you're done, reread the problem to ask yourself if you've actually finished. So pause here, read the problem, work it out, and then hit play when you think you're ready. Okay, so once again, we have this situation where it's bringing up the comparison, whichever is less, and we can see where the comparison is because we've got this or there. So the two things that I'm comparing in this situation are this undercut shall not exceed two inches or 12.5% of the weld length. So those are the two things that I wanna compare in this situation. So I go ahead and I make my plan. And so once again, so now this, this weld length, this is gonna take some work to figure this out in this particular situation. So um, as I read through this, now I gotta figure out where's the weld length. The pipe is three inches in radius. Radius, not diameter. Okay, so that is gonna change things, right? So three inches in radius. So if you missed that detail, I want you to pause here and fix it. <laughs> okay, so three inches in radius. Um, so now I have to come up with the circumference. I know that my circumference can be calculated as two pi r, or I could calculate it as pi d, where I calculate the diameter is two r. Um, it doesn't matter which one you wanna use, you'll get to the same answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use um, that two pi r and do 2 times 3.14 times 3. But if you use diameter, um, then you would have just done 3.14 times 6. So it doesn't, doesn't matter which way you wanted to go with that. Anyways, so you, then you get 18.84 inches. Okay, so now we're not done. 12.5% of the weld length, which we just found. So now we have to figure this out. That comes out to 0.125 times 18.84 and that equals 2.355 inches. Are we done? No, we gotta compare. And so this is where like, you might have to reread that problem again. As I look through this, what was I trying to do again? I, I have to ask myself this all the time too. I totally get lost in math problems. I think it's very normal to have to go back and read because there's only like so much you're gonna re remember that you're trying to do. Whichever is less, okay, right. So that's what I'm trying to compare, whichever is less. So now, I look at these two things, which one is less? Two or 2.355, it'd be the two. And so I can pop it in inequality there. So the answer here would be under, undercut shall not exceed um, two inches. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. You wanna make sure that you practice this. This is definitely a lot of stuff. And you know, if you just try this once or twice, it, that's not gonna make it easier. The only way that this gets easier is if you practice, practice, practice. You might have to do that pr same problem set. You know, if you have to do it four times to truly understand the process, that's totally okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But you know, if you say, oh, I, I tried this twice and I don't get it. Well, yeah, you're not gonna get it. You've, you've really gotta practice this to have it kind of click in your brain. It's a very specific kind of thought process and only gets easier if you if you try it a lot and you get really used to kind of working with that. So otherwise, um, that, that ends this video. So thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you next time.